Wow guys, it's right there. Look at it. Oh man, it's gorgeous. Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up Mabu High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, welcome to another vlog here at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse um, in the Philippines. Yes, and I'm just here on the side lot, our farming lot. So one cool installment that we've done for the aviary is for enrichment. So see that like metal sort of tube? Well, that holds a little bit of water and we now take cuttings from these massive uh, rain trees, which I recently found out are really nutritious actually for humans and animals. Um, and we stuck those trimmings into those things. And look, the birds have a blast tearing it up. So it's on all of these like branches we've placed. And these trees need to be felled regularly anyways. So it's perfect, see? And these little tubes keep it fresh. It's filled with water. See there? There are the blue napes hanging out here. You got plants to destroy. Yes. And it's like a healthy plant too. How awesome is it guys that we have healthy leaves growing all around our home and all our animals have been eating it like even the goats. Guys, those are the goats. That's Billy and Eilish. Hi. I love watching the birds destroy the plants. <laughs> Back when they were in our indoor aviary, we have an aviary in the middle of our home too. Back when they were in our indoor aviary and they were chewing on plants we bought, my heart would break because I knew how much we spent on the plants and trees in our aviary. But now it's just like, yes, go destroy to your heart's desire. They love it. <laughs> Hi. These are crimson bellied conures. How are you doing? You enjoying? It's so breezy right now. I love it. And so do the birds actually. Out here they get more of a breeze than they ever did in the aviary inside. I just love seeing and knowing that our birds, we're helping our birds live their best lives. I mean look, they're actually destroying real trees and also probably eating some of it. We built them this massive lap aviary and they frequently fly back and forth. Really good for their wings. Just so happy to know that our birds are happy, you know what I mean? And I mean the colors of our birds speak for themselves. You guys, your feather quality is awesome out here. Very good feathers. All right guys, so let's check up on our iguanas. Yay! Oh my God, Magnus, you look stunning. Stunning. I see iguanas down there. Oh, I see poo. Oh wow, okay, so this is your poo corner. Maybe we can lay something out and help you out. There's Magnus. This here is, let me see your eyes. This is Eve and, oh no, that's, that's Adam. This here is Eve. Getting some sun. I love that the iguanas are living together. I knew they would be okay together. People are like, don't house the two males together. But no, I knew it would, I knew they would establish a pecking order. You see, there's a respect here. Magnus, I think, is the alpha. Magnus, I got something for you. Oh, you look stunning. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how beautiful you look sun basking there. Displaying your, your dewlap. I got banana, your favorite. Here you go. This is his favorite snack, guys. Oh, you are a dream lizard, honestly. My dragon. What? A dream. I dreamed of having a male iguana like this as a kid. He's a blue male iguana given to us by a very famous actor here in the Philippines named Enrique Hill. We adopted him. All right, there you go. And guys, look too. See that little container of soil? That's there for Eve because I think she's pregnant. Billy, he's taking a nap. Morning, want banana? There you go. <gasps> Do you want a banana peel, Eilish? There you go. Mmm. Nothing goes to waste. So guys, for a change, 
RJ and I are eating our lunch here in Tagaytay. You guys know Tagaytay, we used to live here in this area during pandemic, like the second half of the pandemic. Bed, do you miss living in this area? It's so cool, guys. And like out there is a volcano, everything. Um, but we're eating at a place called Breakfast at Antonio's. RJ ordered potato salad. He loves the potato salad here. And I love the burger. It's been months since, I, I think almost a year since I've had a burger, guys. Or over a year. So I figured, you know, today I'm going to order a burger and some nice fries, freshly cut french fries. Man, there was a time when I used to eat burgers every single day, guys. That was before I had my new, my fitness journey. Oh my gosh, it's the egg is exploded. Okay, let's eat. Oh my gosh, I'm going to need a fork and a knife for this. Mm. 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 Oh yeah. Mm. Number one, God. Yum. Burger is perfect. Juicy. There's lettuce in there and egg. This burger, five Mabuhay stars. Oh my gosh, guys! Like seriously, I need a fork. Mm -hmm. mm. This burger is so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My Buhay squad, we have a friend here. What's your name? Hazel. Hazel. And guys, b because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Bye. So guys, the reason we're here in Tagaytay is we're buying a few plants and we're buying pots. We need a couple for um, the farming lot and also for the iguana pen you'll see you'll see what it's for guys you see this this here is staghorn fern look at it so beautiful right this is going in our aviary it needs to be in a shaded region so our aviary is perfect uh, i've always wanted a big staghorn it's two actually i've always wanted this kind of fern yay doesn't that look cool all right, we also bought another plant for the iguana pen because Jay Brewer said we probably need like a shading plant in the shady part to make it even more shady. So this is what that's for. Guys, we bought a lot of garlic vine, more of it for anti-snake. Yay, new plants. Um, some of these plants are actually also going in my, av in my vivarium in the ant room. So yay. So guys, back home. And this here is our Pinoy Chalet, right? On the balcony at the back, they found this little guy. A snake. It's a native snake. It's my first time to see a snake of this kind here. Um, we think it's a golden flying tree snake, although it's green. And it preys on frogs and little lizards. So... Uh, if that's what it is, it is mildly venomous. Uh, not enough, like, it's not really a concern for human beings because they're rear fanged, which means they really need to chomp down to deliver its venom. Um, so it's not on the dangerous list, really, for humans. But if you're a frog and if you're a lizard, it is. So, guys, we're not going to keep it, obviously. Um, but we are going to release it back into the forest from whence it came tomorrow cool snake though right first time to see one of these guys if any of you um snake experts here in the philippines can identify this species let me know is it a green butterfly tree snake but it's so beautiful oh yeah guys and it apparently can glide <laughs> it came from the trees beauty good morning we're here in the aviary Beautiful, beautiful songbird aviary. Oh, it's a beautiful, sunny, but cool morning. And guys, look, I noticed one of the canaries, our white canary, she's always by the pool. She always thinks of bathing, but I think she's reluctant. She can though, because we've put rocks and it's not deep. Um, but she chooses instead, or he, we don't know if it's he or she, to just bathe in like 
the water that collects on the edge, she'll like rub her body in that water. But it's so cute. Now I do have some sad news. Guys, the yellow canary died yesterday. So sad. Um, we don't know why. We found it inside the cage and dead. And then I contacted the one who gave us the canaries, our good friend. And he said possibly it was too young. I don't know. Um, but I felt really sad to see it because those canaries were so tame. And like, as you can see, they're so used to people being close to them. I guess it happens. I guess this is part of having a songbird aviary. It's harder to tell when like the small birds are sick, unlike parrots. I find because, maybe because they're so large, parrots show more signs of being sick. Like I can notice it more based on if they don't sing the same way or I can see it in their feathers or how they sit even if they go off feed. But here, I can't really tell which birds are going off feed. And some of these birds are so tiny, it's just hard to see the signs. Um, but anyway, so sad. We'll definitely get more canaries in the future. Oh, And now the canary's drinking. Good morning, Cypher. Guys, we've lost this dog. He now sleeps with my dad and refuses to sleep with RJ and I. Sipes, we've lost ya. There's my dad, there's RJ. Daddy, yes. good morning. Do you have a joke of the day? Oh yes, Okay. I got joke of the day. What's the joke of the day? Why are the fish are so easy to wait? Why are the fish so easy to weigh? Yeah, to wait. Yeah, why? Because they got their own scales. <laughs> <laughs> OMG, weighing scales. There's the explanation of the joke. <laughs> in case you didn't get it. Okay. So guys, here in the iguana pen. And Eve, look how fat she is. See? This is why I think she's gravid. She's got eggs. Um, but they're basking now, the iguanas. See, she's nice and dark, so she can absorb maximum amount of sunlight this morning. What I love is I see that they're all pooing here in the same area. I don't see poo anywhere else. So I'm wondering if we could put some kind of astroturf here or something that's easy to clean. There's that bucket with soil. There's breakfast and water down there. Hi, Magnus. You're looking so good. Look at how handsome he is. Good morning. <laughs> He's hanging out there. The alpha of the den, the dragon's den. And then down there is the beta male. That is Adam, also getting some sun. Sweet. So nights here have been fairly cooler. I would say around 21 degrees. So these lizards really look forward to the morning sun so they could warm up and go about their day's business. Good morning, Billy and Eilish. Hi, Bills. Yes, good morning. You keeping Eilish company? I hope you're not harassing her too much. Good morning, Eilish. Hey, come. Look, <laughs> they're besties, but She's like annoyed. Here you go, Eilish. Some grass. Mmm. <laughs> She's a great goat. Billy, don't smell there. <laughs> Look at him. Did you smell something? <laughs> this is what goats do. They smell the air and they do this funny Elvis lip. Uh -huh. As for the new chickens, they're doing well. Good morning, chickens. <laughs> These are silkies. We're definitely getting more. Morning! Let's check up on the bunnies. There's breakfast and wow, I'm noticing they're all pooing here and nowhere else. Everywhere else in the enclosure is so clean. Hi bunnies! They're over there hanging out by the drain. Hey guys! <laughs> you gonna give us some baby bunnies soon? I hope so. They're so cute. Look at them. <laughs> the male. 
Hi there. And the female way down there. I find they're a lot more calm. Like when I used to be this far from them, they would dash away. So I think they're starting to get used to people being around, which is great because we are not a threat. Relaxed birds are good. The blue napes are up there. Hi guys. Conyers are up there. Hi guys. You're so cute. Enjoying the morning sun. There's RJ overseeing things. <laughs> so that noise in the background is the new goat bedroom. <laughs> so we're thinking of just having Billy sleep outside, which he's used to, and he'll just crawl under one of these shelters. And for now, um, Eilish will be sleeping there. The reason why we're editing the design is because Eilish jumped over this brown barrier. So now we've added bars. We were surprised to see her do this because Billy has never been able to jump that this metal brown barrier part because his legs are too short, I guess. But she did. This one here, this boar goat. So now we've added bars. Okay guys, back here. And there's the snake. It's awake, it wants to disappear into the forest, possibly sunbathe. And we're gonna let it go today, this morning. What a gorgeous, gorgeous creature. OMG guys, I just saw the most beautiful blue kingfisher on that wall. <gasps> Which means the kingfishers are fishing for guppies in our pond. How cool, that's crazy. Oh guys, look, how awesome. Our mulberry plant has berries. That's great. And a lot of them too, look. Look at all these berries, we could eat this. Healthy. Some way down there too. Sweet. There's one here and I see a weaver ant passing by. Man, this mulberry tree has a lot. This, is, this mulberry tree is doing so well in this spot. Oh, I can't wait for it to be really big. Okay guys. We're leaving this enclosure here and just opening the door and letting the snake leave on its own. Actually, we're gonna help guide it with a little stick. There, there we go, go, there we go. See ya, wow, it disappeared so fast. <gasps> oh guys, it's climbing the tree. See it, there it is. Wow, it really climbs fast. There it is, look. See it? Look at how fast it climbs this tree. It's so adapted to life in the forest. There it goes. Hopefully it doesn't come back to our property. It's climbing this tree. I think it knows better than to come here. Guys, there it is, look. See? What a gorgeous snake. Wow. There it goes. I mean, it is our friend, right? It helps control lizard species and tree frog species. Wow guys, it's right there. Look at it. Oh man, it's gorgeous. There it goes. Look how fast it crawls along the branches. Okay, seriously, it better not come back here. <gasps> See it there? Swaying in the trees. Wow, what a snake. Gorgeous. Enjoy the sun. Don't ever come back here. <laughs> I mean, if it does, it's not gonna actively bite us. It wants tree frogs. I would love to see it glide, like leap from the tree and like glide down. I, I think it's moving now. Let's see. Let's see it glide. Imagine it starts gliding towards us. No, please. It's reaching the end of the branch. Let's see where it goes from here. Oh, will we see it glide? Oh, what an animal, wow. Ah, these plants are blocking the way. There. Wow, it moves so fast. Moving through the flowers, and there it goes. And just for perspective, it's up there. And I think it's gonna travel back up this branch and down the tree to another tree. OMG Mabuhai squad, you won't believe this. So, um, 
someone gave us a water monitor that they caught from their property, I guess. And instead of killing it, whoa, there it goes. Yeah. They gave it to us and we're just gonna release it in our pond. If it decides to live here, that's fine. It can eat all kinds of animals here. It's got like uh, frogs to eat. I'm sure rodents and birds come here. A whole bunch of creatures here. Do you see it? Oh, it disappeared so fast. It has full choice if it wants to completely just crawl back into the forest. But they love big bodies of water. And we have seen young water monitors living here in this pond before. Um, so hopefully the monitor population learns that this body is for them, this body of water. Uh, they grow quite big. They can grow five feet long, huge lizards. And some people keep, oh, there it is. Some people keep them as pets. Do you see it? Wait, where'd it go? Oh, it went back in. It's gonna surface for air soon. I'll just stay quiet. Oh, I love living in the tropics, guys. It's like a dream for all of you like animal lovers. Living in the Philippines is a total dream. There it is, do you see it? Oh my gosh, it was right there. It surfaced for more air. It's right there. See? They are great swimmers, hence their name. It's trying to get up on land now. It'll probably try to climb that blue pipe. See? <gasps> What a crazy lizard. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave so it doesn't feel too threatened. It can climb out of the water through this log. It won't harm our turtles. And I mean, hopefully it comes and visits again. It might not be welcome on some people's pr property, but here it is. I'm sure water monitors can catch fish in here too. So many guppies. I mean, we actually need to control the guppy count. Oh my gosh, guys, speaking of turtles, there's Donatello. It's been months since I've seen him. He's such a good hider. Hi, Donatello. Hey, Cypher's out here. Hi, Cypher. My dad's been taking him out. Hi, Cypher. And Sahara. Hi, Sahara. <laughs> They're having a blast out here. OMG, guys, look at this change. Huge pot at the corner by the pool. Like, look at the size of my dad and look at the size of the pot. I actually like that. The pot that was up there moved here. Oh, and another new thing, this water fountain. I know RJ's been waiting for this for a while. Look at how cute that water feature is. See? Awesome. This white wall here was a bit bare. They're going to hide that wire somehow. RJ's like, hey, can you try putting that pothos you're holding inside? You mean like that, babe? That looks kind of nice, but there's soil. I'm gonna wash the soil out. It can actually grow in water, this puddles. All right, guys, update. Aviary under construction. So we've actually taken the terrarium glue that I used before, and we've covered all the pots with sphagnum moss, so it looks natural. Up there is the staghorn fern now, see? Um, so it looks really good. All the pots look really beautiful, so natural. We've even covered the metal rings all around with sphagnum moss, so it's like disguised. Isn't that great? It looks so, so natural, guys. Another thing I noticed is, look, new growth in the fiddle leaf fig tree. I'm happy about that, because the top, when we first installed it, was damaged. Um, during transport, I think. We put it in the back of the truck and it must have hit a pole or something, a bridge maybe, because it tore up the leaves. But, new leaves, yay! Our fiddly fig tree is growing, yay! Sahara and I are here watching this pretty bird. It's a Goldian finch, but of the rarer, bluer kind. So beautiful, the colors. Pastel blue, purples. Seems to be eating like little bits of gravel, probably as grit to help it digest. Pretty cool, right, Sahara? Guys, every time I come in the aviary, some of the birds get really curious and they come so close. There's the white canary. Hi there, you wanna come land on me? 
Hi, this owl finch is very curious. Look at its face. It's so funny. There's one of the diamond doves, but this is the blue, blue variety. The canary loves drinking, see? Oh man, so pretty. How is Eilish doing? Hi Eilish. Uh, she wants to go somewhere. Where do you want to go? She really likes you. Oh my gosh. Mm, guys, look. Look at what we bought. We bought them a manger. Right now it's holding their water. This is what Jesus was born in. Hi Eilish. Yes. Hi. You're so sweet. Oh, don't lick my fingers. <laughs> guys, this goat is sweet. Billy, are you excited to have kids again? I'm excited. I can't wait to watch her give birth. But that's five months from now we gotta wait. Five months? I know. It's a long time, right? It's okay. It's worth it. <laughs> Guys, the parrots are noisy. Sun is going down. And they're doing laps. See? Awesome. I just love... I could sit here and watch those parrots do laps all day. Okay, guys, we're in the iguana pen. Iguanas are up there, and way down there is Adam. We're gonna use these pots to kind of protect these branches um, so that there's no sliding of branches. And also, in case we do get a tortoise and we release it here, it'll just keep these from shifting around. Like, once the tortoise moves by and his shell, like, you know, lifts the driftwood, it'll avoid that. So we're gonna do that now. Hi, bunnies. How you doing? <laughs> Hi. Okay guys, there. See? Now we just fill that with gravel and it'll be good. No sliding of the branches. Although we really did secure them well, they wouldn't have slid anyways. I'm just saying in case there is a tortoise in here, you know, they're very powerful at lifting things with their shells. So just want to be want to be safe. Prepare it for the future. Hi, Rizal. Yes. Hi. We're going to see the pond. Guys, RJ planted new flowers there. There used to be really long reed type plants, but he, RJ removed it because he felt like we couldn't appreciate the water fountain, which is off right now. And instead he planted plants there. How cute. We gotta figure a way to hide this blue pipe here. It doesn't look like the monitor is here. I wonder if it's still here, guys. But if it left, it knows there's a big body of water here. And let's hope one day we see it return. Look at Melody. <laughs> You're so cute, Melds. So guys, this is our Bourguenvillea wall. And these past, I would say six months, there have been no flowers. But look, they're coming back. It's Bourguenvillea season again soon. It's seasonal, so all of these will be beautiful colors. Yay, can't wait. Good morning. Guys, I just came here with my hot coffee in the morning and I'm just staring out at our farm lot, our animal farm lot, and I just can't help but feel like this is a dream. Like, we have goats. For years in these vlogs, I've been saying, oh, I can't wait to have goats one day. We've got chickens back there, same thing. We have our giant aviary, a pen of iguanas, which include a blue iguana, and it's just really a dream. Oh, uh, and Eilish just saw me. Guys, Eilish is so playful. She jumps around and tries to get Billy to play, like, watch. See? She tries to get Billy to play. To like bump heads and stuff. She's so funny. <laughs> the blue napes are here having their breakfast. How's breakfast this morning? Hmm? The others are busy doing laps. You're so high up there. There's the male pheasant. Hi. Are you not eating breakfast? Prefer looking for bugs? Hi. They're the Conyers to come greet me. Hi, Billy. Good morning. Hey, wait a second. Why are our chickens fighting like that? Oh my, oh my gosh. What's going on? Okay, wait. Are you, you guys are not roosters, are you? 
Why are you... What? <gasps> They're fighting. What should I do? Oh, all three of them are fighting. Are they just establishing a pecking order? I think they were attacking the rooster. This black one is really aggressive. I think that's the alpha chicken. Dear Bretman Rock, the next time you're in the Philippines, please come here and teach me all you know about chickens. I love your chickens. Oh my gosh. Look at Magnus. He looks stunning. Hi Magnus. You look gorgeous in this morning light. And there is Eve. Adam is way down there. As expected, I knew the two males would generally be apart. And then Eve just kind of bounces back and forth between them. But I do catch them sometimes all three together. Like here in the shade. They share the shade. Oh, it's so good. You guys are getting along. And now he's doing the arm wave, which is a communication thing. Hi. Yes, Magnus, you are the alpha of this pen. I'll bring some banana later, okay? Gosh, he looks stunning. Look at him. <gasps> You're so healthy. I love to see it. So yeah, I love their current setup now. Um, they've got their food bowls down there. Legit food bowls made of like, is that ceramic or porcelain? Um, their breakfast is served, but they're not going to eat until they're all warmed up. All the plants are set. Added the plant here as per advice from Jay Brewer. And yeah, see? Yay. <gasps> Loving this iguana pen. Guys, this is going to be a petting zoo. The Mabuhai Squad petting zoo. Seriously, so many animals. In all seriousness though, our Mabuhai Squad farmhouse has become somewhat of a rescue center, um, an adoption center of animals who um, need rehoming. With the exception of Billy, a couple of our dogs, um, the parrots, and that's it. Oh, the chickens. All our other animals, and we have a lot, guys. Um, they have been given to us. You know, every day people are like, hey, can you take in my, you know, my turtle? Take in my, my birds? Take in all of this? Or they're giving us animals as gifts uh so we take them well we take the ones that we can uh, because well we have the space and i love animals our entire team loves animals rj loves animals so it works out hi adam look at adam <laughs> you're so beautiful too adam's here getting some sun you know actually the sun here is pretty awesome so between you and me you have the better spot wow guys these mickey mouse blossoms are so cute it's funny how the plant is called mickey mouse <laughs> so the inside those little berries those yellow berries they turn black so it's black against red which is why they call it mickey mouse because the red is like mickey's pants right and the black is mickey cool right this here's a, a side lot beside our lot um i believe it was sold so we'll have neighbors soon interesting can't wait to meet them oh someone's gonna take a morning poop let's watch you gonna poop i can see he's getting into position okay let's not watch in case you guys are eating <laughs> generally they poo in this area which makes cleaning easier we can just lay down a piece of brown paper there or something Guys, let's pick our calamansi. Are these ready? Oh, it's hard. Okay, I don't think these ones are ready. Let's see the other ones. How do you know when calamansi is ready to pick, guys? I don't want to pick it too early. Like, this one looks like it's just about ready. But I'm not sure. See, we have so many calamansi. Oh, these ones are, these ones are huge. Okay, I'll try picking these ones, these two. Pick! Yay! Our very first calamansi. Awesome. Freshly grown. <laughs> I love that. Now put the calamansi right here for people to use. Guys, look at how cute the dogs are when they just wake up. Sahara just literally woke up. Good morning. You ready to start the day? Huh? 
She wants to give me a kiss. Don't kiss the phone. Oh, are you kissing my Buhai squad? She's so sweet in the mornings. Come on, let's go downstairs. Let's go downstairs. She's gonna do her morning stretch. Let's go. OMG guys, RJ just informed me that we got three new chickens from Kuya Irvin. Oh, this one here? Oh, so apparently this one's laying eggs already. Hi guys, welcome to the chicken coop. They're just regular chickens. Awesome. Oh my gosh, look at the silkies. The silkies are all huddled in the corner. They're like, what are those? Those are your friends, don't worry. We got a nice seed mix too, to supplement their pellets. Here guys, go. Eat, enjoy, lay eggs, yes, go. So we could steal them and eat them. Here you go, buddy. I want them to like learn that this is home first before we allow them to have free range. Um, RJ and I were talking yesterday about the chickens and I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open, when they're used to this being their home, we're gonna open the door and let them like free range eat grass and bugs and then at night they'll just come in on their own. Apparently that's what they do. Um, we're also going to add perches for them to roost like at night. They can sleep on, we're probably gonna fixate bamboo so they could sleep on the bamboo uh, because one of you guys pointed out that they can't be sleeping where they're nesting. Guys, don't be scared. They're friends. <laughs> okay, the rooster's coming out to check on things. <laughs> I love our chicken coop, guys. Our chicken family is growing. We have seven chickens now. Hi, Eve. Can't wait for you to have babies. Look at her hand. Look, girl, I'm gonna lay when I want to. Oh my gosh, guys, <laughs> hilarious. Look, I heard like noise coming from our bag of hay and it looks like one of the chickens are inside. Are you stealing hay or are you making a, oh, she's making a nest. <gasps> Is this your nest? I mean, we're gonna stuff the nest boxes with this stuff. Okay, you can stay there. There, I'm legit putting nesting material inside one of these nests so that they can discover it go chickens go i love this this is an ingenious design all right lined all the nest boxes with hay so that our chickens can start to lay eggs man i remember when i was young i used to collect an egg every morning we had a chicken in toronto which was against the law <laughs> but we still had chickens as a kid um and every morning i looked forward to going in the nest and grabbing an egg. Sometimes she would lay two. And then when we finally cooked our chicken for adobo, my mom like cut open the chicken and there were, there's this organ that had like tons of upcoming eggs in them, like hundreds of upcoming like eggs. It was so neat. So I can't wait for us to have our own eggs because I eat eggs every day. Guys, that chicken is back. It's looking for the hay. The hay is inside those holes. It's looking around. It's like, where did the bag of hay go? I actually put it in there. Yeah, if you want to lay, you lay in there. She's looking, look. Oh guys, she's starting to explore the nest, the nest boxes. Wrong one, I put hay on the other ones. Wow, she's so smart. She's going to check each one for suitability. <gasps> Amazing. She's like, no, this doesn't have hay. Doesn't pass my standards. Sounds like RJ. There we go, she found it. Yay. Let's see how she likes it. Does it pass your standards? She's scratching around. It feels nesty. Oh, oh. Oh. <gasps> She's kicking the hay around. Oh, this is amazing. Guys, I think she likes it. OMG guys, she hasn't left it yet. I love it. I think she's chosen her nesting spot. Oh, I can't wait for eggs, you. I'm hungry now. Just like looking at this chicken <laughs> nesting. Oh, she's leaving. Or is she? Are you leaving? You gonna check out the other nest boxes? She's stepping out. Here in the bunny's pen, 
Oh, they look so... Look at how clean it is here, guys. The bunny's pen is so easy to keep clean because they poo and pee in the same spot. Oh, you guys look so cute in there. Hi. Oh, it totally just ran out to greet me. Hi, guys. Good morning. Oh, do you like your new nest? Your new bunny nest? Yeah. <laughs> oh, these bunnies have become so tame. When they first arrived, they were so afraid of people. Yes. Good boy. This is the boy. That's the girl. Are you going to hop back in? <laughs> Oh, they're so cute. Ah! Guys, even the forest in the back, so beautiful in the morning. Listen to the birds. I just love living next to a forest. It's so beautiful. Oh, and by the way, this tree here with those beautiful pink flowers that look like cherry blossoms. One of you, a lot of you guys identified that tree as Madre de Cacao. That's awesome. I love that it's there. Oh, and by the way, we keep all the bunny poop in this garbage can because we use it as fertilizer. Today we put um, it into a lot of the plants of the aviary. So our aviary plants will just explode. Move the goats to a different patch of grass to graze. Guys, this is Farmville dreams. I'm like just so happy. Yeah, hey, someone's eating. Go eat my dragon, feast. Feast on your delicious veggies. Mmm. Oh my gosh, guys, you won't believe. Oh, <gasps> no way. One of the silkies laid an egg. Oh my goodness. Already? Which one? And because we have a rooster, this one? The white. The white. Oh. So, because we have a rooster, it probably has a baby in it. Okay, so what do we do? Hey, like, I don't want to eat this. <laughs> There's probably a baby. But are silkies good parents? I have to research. Do you know how to sit in this, huh, moms? And I think I did catch the rooster mating with this one. So, we might have a baby silky, guys. I mean, if silkies are not good parents, we have to put this in an incubator. Anyways, we have a, a rattan nest, or a, we have a nest here, and then I'm just going to put this in it. So like that? Mm -mm. Okay. And then, oh wow, we'll put it there for now. Hopefully she goes and sits on it. Yay, I'm so happy. Hey dad, aren't you happy you're going to be a dad? Oh my gosh, guys, according to the internet, silky chickens are great mothers. And in fact, people will use silkies to hatch other chickens' eggs, like breeds of chickens that are known to not be good parents. Silkies will be used to adopt those eggs and like take care of them. Oh, that's cool. Doesn't look like she's like paying attention to that egg though, but we'll see. And all right, guys, so, that's it. Welcome to the Mabuhai Spot farmhouse. Slowly developing and slowly our, our animal family is growing, guys. Oh, so fun. Mabuhai Squad, if you also had fun and enjoyed this vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. I know you guys have been doing that. This channel has really just taken on an awesome life of its own with an amazing community you guys are really truly a dream come true as well um, thank you for being part of RJ and I's journey here um, in the Philippines it's something I'm really grateful for every single day so if you haven't yet be sure to hit the subscribe button to join our Mabuhai squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Love you. Bye.